This is the Cambridge Key English Test. Test number four. Now look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About 30. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is 30, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What is the man going to take to the repair shop? What are you doing today, Pete? I'm going into town to get a better lamp for my desk. Then I'm going to the repair shop. My CD player is broken. Do you think they'll be able to make it work? Yes. I took my old television there. It's as good as new now. Now listen again. What are you doing today, Pete? I'm going into town to get a better lamp for my desk. Then I'm going to the repair shop. My CD player is broken. Do you think they'll be able to make it work? Yes. I took my old television there. It's as good as new now. Two. How will Nancy and Joe get to the sports centre? Nancy, shall we go to the sports centre by car or by bus? I think we should walk, Joe. The traffic will be bad and the walk will be good for us. I suppose you're right. It's not that far. Can we get the bus back? Let's see how tired we are when we've finished. Now listen again. Nancy, shall we go to the sports centre by car or by bus? I think we should walk, Joe. The traffic will be bad and the walk will be good for us. I suppose you're right. It's not that far. Can we get the bus back? Let's see how tired we are when we've finished. Three. How much is the prize for the competition? What are you writing, Marco? It's a story. I want to win a competition. I need £300 for my holiday. How much can you win? £200. I've already got £100, so if I win, I can go. Now listen again. What are you writing, Marco? It's a story. I want to win a competition. I need £300 for my holiday. How much can you win? £200. I've already got £100. So if I win, I can go. Four. What will the weather be like tomorrow lunchtime? Have you got the newspaper there? Can you read me the weather forecast for tomorrow? I hope it isn't going to rain for our picnic lunch. There will be fog early in the day, but it will go by the middle of the morning with winds from the east. Great. Yes, but the wind will get stronger through the day. Now listen again. Have you got the newspaper there? Can you read me the weather forecast for tomorrow? I hope it isn't going to rain for our picnic lunch. There will be fog early in the day, but it will go by the middle of the morning with winds from the east. Great. Yes, but the wind will get stronger through the day. Five. 
five. What time will they leave home? Paul, when do you want to go? It's seven thirty already. Be ready at ten to eight. We should leave then. You booked the table for eight fifteen, didn't you? Yes, and we mustn't be late. Now listen again. Paul, when do you want to go? It's seven thirty already. Be ready at ten to eight. We should leave then. You booked the table for eight fifteen, didn't you? Yes, and we mustn't be late. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Ben talking to his wife about the clothes in his suitcase. Which clothes will he wear each day? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each day. You will hear the conversation twice. You've packed so many clothes, Ben. Well, it is a business trip, and the weather will be different everywhere I go. I suppose on Sunday you'll travel in your jeans. Yes. Then on Monday I'm going to meet the company boss, so I'll need my suit. Then、mm. I can't wear jeans. What's happening on Tuesday? I'm visiting a factory in the south, so I've packed these grey trousers. They're light, and I won't need a jacket. It'll be thirty-five degrees. Oh. Then you're in the mountains on Wednesday. Yes, a jacket won't be warm enough. I've got my coat for that day. Are you taking a sweater as well? There isn't room in the suitcase. On Thursday I'll be by the sea, so I'm taking my swimming shorts. And what about Friday? I'm having lunch with some colleagues. I'll wear that blue shirt you gave me. Look, here it is, under the suit. Oh, good. Now listen again. You've packed so many clothes, Ben. Well, it is a business trip, and the weather will be different everywhere I go. I suppose on Sunday you'll travel in your jeans. Yes. Then on Monday I'm going to meet the company boss, so I'll need my suit. Then、mm. I can't wear jeans. What's happening on Tuesday? I'm visiting a factory in the south, so I've packed these grey trousers. They're light, and I won't need a jacket. It'll be thirty-five degrees. Oh, then you're in the mountains on Wednesday. Yes, a jacket won't be warm enough. I've got my coat for that day. Are you taking a sweater as well? There isn't room in the suitcase. On Thursday I'll be by the sea, so I'm taking my swimming shorts. And what about Friday? I'm having lunch with some colleagues. I'll wear that blue shirt you gave me. Look, here it is. Under the suit. Oh, good. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Duncan talking to a friend about a tennis course. For questions eleven to fifteen, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation. Twice. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hi, Duncan. How was your tennis course at the weekend? Well, I was actually there for five days, not two. Oh, was the hotel nice? Beautiful. We were high up in the mountains. We looked down on the lake where we swam every morning, and across to the town on the other side. Was the teacher good? Excellent. He's worked here in England for ages, but he was born in Canada, so he speaks French and English. I'd like to do the course. Was it very expensive?、Mm, the full price in the summer is two hundred and sixty-five pounds. But it only cost me two hundred and five pounds because I'm a student. In the autumn, it's less, a hundred and eighty-five pounds. Hmm.
Did you have to buy anything special? I already had tennis clothes, and the hotel had rackets and balls. But I got some new shoes, because my old tennis ones were too small. What did you do in the evenings? Sometimes we watched videos of tennis matches, but on the last night we danced and sang songs in the hotel garden. <laughs> that was great. Now listen again. Hi, Duncan. How was your tennis course at the weekend? Well, I was actually there for five days, not two. Oh. Was the hotel nice? Beautiful. We were high up in the mountains. We looked down on the lake where we swam every morning and across to the town on the other side. Was the teacher good? Excellent. He's worked here in England for ages, but he was born in Canada, so he speaks French and English. I'd like to do the course. Was it very expensive? Mm, the full price in the summer is £265, but it only cost me £205 because I'm a student. In the autumn, it's less, £185. Mm. Did you have to buy anything special? I already had tennis clothes and the hotel had rackets and balls. But I got some new shoes because my old tennis ones were too small. What did you do in the evenings? Sometimes we watched videos of tennis matches, but on the last night we danced and sang songs in the hotel garden. <laughs> that was great. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a woman phoning for information about a boat trip. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, tourist information. Hello, I'm phoning about the boat trips on the River Dee. Can you tell me which days they are? Every Friday and Sunday. And where does the boat leave from? You'll find it next to the bridge. It's ten minutes walk from North Street Car Park. Are there several trips a day? Just one. It starts at 12.15. It takes about an hour and 45 minutes, so you'll be back by two. How far up the river will the boat take us? All the way to Aldford. That's A. L. D. F. O. R. D. You get off there and come back through the mountains on a bus. It sounds nice. Can I get any food on the boat? Not much. They only sell ice cream and cold drinks. But there are lots of cafes in Aldford. Can we get tickets on the boat? Yes. They're £3.95 for adults and £2.75 for children. Come early and get a good seat. OK. Thank you for your help. Now listen again. Hello, tourist information. Hello. I'm phoning about the boat trips on the River Dee. Can you tell me which days they are? Every Friday and Sunday. And where does the boat leave from? You'll find it next to the bridge. It's ten minutes walk from North Street Car Park. Are there several trips a day? Just one. It starts at 12.15. It takes about an hour and 45 minutes, so you'll be back by two. How far up the river will the boat take us? All the way to Aldford. That's A. L. D. F. O. R. D. You get off there and come back through the mountains on a bus. It sounds nice. Can I get any food on the boat? Not much. They only sell ice cream and cold drinks. But there are lots of cafes in Aldford. Can we get tickets on the boat? Yes. They're £3.95 for adults and £2.75 for children. Come early and get a good seat.
OK. Thank you for your help. That is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a woman giving information on the radio about a theatre school. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Do you love singing, dancing and acting? Then come to Silver Star Theatre School. We have courses every week during the school holidays for children between 9 and 16 years old. If you are 14, 15 or 16, the price is only £89 for a week. If you are under 14, it costs £95 per week. You'll find we are cheaper than other theatre schools, but much better. The only thing you should bring with you is your lunch. We will give you any special clothes you need. From Monday to Thursday, you will work really hard. Then family and friends can come and watch you in a special show on Friday afternoon. For many people, this is the best day of the week. The first summer course begins on July the 21st and you must book by the 12th. If you want to join the Silver Star School, call Mary and ask for a booking form today. The phone number is 8447 6953 and you can call between 9am and 5pm every day. Now listen again. Singing, dancing and acting? Then come to Silver Star Theatre School. We have courses every week during the school holidays for children between 9 and 16 years old. If you are 14, 15 or 16, the price is only £89 for a week. If you are under 14, it costs £95 per week. You'll find we are cheaper than other theatre schools, but much better. The only thing you should bring with you is your lunch. We will give you any special clothes you need. From Monday to Thursday, you will work really hard. Then family and friends can come and watch you in a special show on Friday afternoon. For many people, this is the best day of the week. The first summer course begins on July the 21st and you must book by the 12th. If you want to join the Silver Star School, call Mary and ask for a booking form today. The phone number is 8447 6953 and you can call between 9am and 5pm every day. That is the end of part 5. You now have 8 minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. That is the end of the test.